So are you looking to get a minimalist wallet? Because in this video, we are gonna be comparing two of the popular brands of minimalist wallets, the Aviator wallet and the Ridge wallet. Now this is not gonna be a completely scientific test because this is a higher end Ridge, it's their Damascus, and this is one of the entry level aviators. This is their brushed blade, so there's definitely a difference in price, but I will say the features of each are the same throughout the brand. During this review, just for fun, I've included the Aviator cavity tray as well as the Ridge cavity tray. They're just extra compartments for you to store keys or coins or whatnot. Anyway, I will say the Aviator cavity tray retails for right around $10 and the Ridge cavity tray retails for $17. The cool thing about the Ridge cavity tray, even if you don't have a Ridge wallet, you can actually use the cavity tray in other wallets that are built similar. This is my Rossum wallet with the carbon fiber look. You cannot do that with the Aviator one because of the way it inserts into the wallet. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you saw, we are going to be comparing two very sweet minimalist wallets, the Ridge wallet and the Aviator wallet. You know what? Enough talk. Let's get right back into this review. Now these two wallets are actually the same size. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure one with the cavity tray and then one without. That way you get a measurement um, with and without the cavity tray. You can see going across we're about three and a quarter of an inch. This way it's about two inches. And of course tall with the cavity tray we're about three eighths of an inch. Let's do that same thing with the Ridge wallet of course. You notice that these measurements are the same. What we're really looking for is how wide it is now. We're about a quarter of an inch wide. So that saves you that space just without using the cavity tray. I originally was not going to do a weight simply because the Damascus steel is just a heavy wallet and that is because of the steel. It is a high quality wallet, but you know what? Let's do a weight anyway. Here's the Aviator with cavity tray, 1.7 ounces. If we look at the Damascus Ridge with a cavity tray, you're at 3.8 ounces. I should note that the original Ridge wallet that would be in the same line as the Aviator wallet is about two ounces. So with the cavity tray, you're looking at 2.4 ounces with the original Ridge wallet. We're almost done with the specs. I just want to talk a little bit about the price. All right, let's talk about the Aviator wallet first. They range from $67 all the way up to $400. And that's with some of those really neat add-ons and change of materials. This is an entry level one, which you'd get a rate around 67 bucks. All right, as far as the Ridge wallet, they range from $95 all the way up to $195. And they also have some cool add-ons and different materials. This one right here being the Damascus steel is $195. Both of these wallets actually have cash straps on them, which I actually do like, but notice the difference in the two cash straps. The Aviator cash strap goes from left to right on the smaller side, whereas the Ridge cash straps goes along the longer side. In my opinion, it's easier to get cash in and out of the Ridge wallet because of the way the cash trap is set up as opposed to the Aviator wallet. Now the cash traps are my choice. I will say that the Ridge does offer a money clip. I have not seen that at least per this video for the Aviator, but that's something that might be coming down the road. But at least for the Ridge, you have a choice in the type of clip or strap you have on the back. So tell me, what are your thoughts of these two minimalist wallets? Do you have one? Would you like to try them? Do you have another minimalist wallet that you think is a whole lot better? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Now we're going to talk about the ease of use of these wallets because I think it's important to note. As far as the Ridge cavity tray, I like to have it upside down and so I only access it from the bottom where the cash strap is just because when I put my cards in, I was always catching the bottom side of the ridge cavity tray with the card. So I just learned if I had this upside down, I just remembered don't pull it out when it's upside down. I don't have an issue with my cards. Most minimalists don't have a whole lot of cards. So I'm going to use about 10, even though they hold up to 20, I'm going to use 10 cards. And so this is what we're looking like. And so in my opinion, it's not that easy to figure out which card that you want, especially if you're using this many. Now, if you're only using two or three, yeah, it's absolutely a lot easier. But what I've understood is people just fan the cards out. You find the ones that you want, put the other ones back in, you use it, and then you slide it right back in. And that's typically how people access their cards. Like I said, for me, it seems to be a bit cumbersome, although I don't carry this many cards when I'm 
using my minimalist wallet. All right, so with the cash strap, now this cash strap is a little bit stretched out, but I can fit a good deal of cash in there. And I know that looks kind of strange, but you know what? That is very convenient to me and I never worry that this is gonna fall out and it stays in secure. Now let's switch all these cards over to the Aviator wallet. Now remember the Aviator wallet also has the cash strap built in. I'm gonna take that one out just so we have the same amount of cards. Let's see if I can fit this in. Oop, I missed one. There we go. I got caught on the cavity tray. All right, so there we go. I got to fix this little piece, and this is just what you have to do when you first get this set up. It shouldn't have issues after you're using it. All right, with the Aviator Wallet, there's two ways you can get your cards. If you have your most popular card here on top, you can just use it and slide it out like that and whatever, put it back in. You can either put it back in on top or move it if you're changing the popularity of that card, or you can actually use this pull here, which I really like because then I can pull and spread to fan out and it really lets me choose between all the cards that I have in my wallet and slide it right back into place. I also like how easy it is to access the cavity tray on the back. However, full disclosure, I don't actually use the cavity trays. I end up just leaving them out because I don't need to carry my keys like that and I don't typically carry coins, but it is easy to access. That brings us to our cash, the exact same amount of cash. I actually have 14 bills here. It is not that easy to stick it into the Aviator wallet here, although not impossible. It's definitely not as easy as it is with the Ridge, just primarily based on the way the elastic covers. However, this is pretty tight. I'm just not accessing this nearly as often or as quick as I can with the Ridge wallet. Now we're gonna test the RFID blocking feature of these two wallets. They both say they block RFID signals. So here on my phone, I have an NFC tag detector. And if you know anything about NFC and RFID, they actually operate on the very same radio frequency. So if you block NFC tag, you will also block the RFID tag. I use these hotel keys just to show you that these do have a tag inside. And if you see down here at the bottom, it says NFC tag detected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these tags now or these cards inside the wallets. Now you should note that you don't see that same home screen anymore. You just see this screen now, but you still will see at the bottom if it has a tag detected. We're gonna try one first in each wallet and then we'll do multiple cards in each wallet. To keep things fair, we have a key from the same hotel for this test. So first the ridge, we're gonna swipe it down the back. You can see that it does not have any kind of signal there. That's awesome. So now let's try the aviator wallet, same thing. We'll swipe it down the back and then we'll flip it and do that on the other side. So you know what? As far as the first test with one card each, they both blocked the NFC RFID signal. We now have three cards in each wallet because I actually have had wallets that blocked one but did not block more than one. So let's try the ridge first again. Goes across the back and we are good there. All right, Aviator, your turn. Absolutely block. You know what? Whenever I test wallets, I always test the NFC or RFID feature, but you know what? There are people out there that either think you need the blocking feature or don't. What are your thoughts? Do we need it? Do we not need it? Is it real? Is it a scam? Let me know down below. If we look at information from the back of the two boxes, the Ridge wallet is made in China, whereas the Aviator wallet is made in Germany. In this video, we compare two different minimalist wallets. So what did we think about it? First, let's talk about the price. If you have the Ridge, you're between $100 and $200. Whereas if you're with the Aviator, you can go as low as $67, all the way up to $400, depending on the extra features and materials you want to use. Throughout these videos, I shared pros and cons about both of these wallets. So I'm not gonna take a whole lot of time right here doing that. I will say, if you're looking for the Ridge wallet, they sell it both on Amazon and on their website, but the Aviator wallet is only sold on their website. And I will leave links below for all of these products. In the end, if you're looking for a quality minimalist wallet, these companies both stand behind their product and that is something that really impresses me. Anyway, that was my full comparison review of the Aviator wallet to the Ridge Wallet. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. If you're still on the fence about buying one of these premium 
minimalist wallets. There are other options out there. One that I have is actually this one right here by Rossum, and you can see it has that carbon fiber look. Just like the other two, you can customize these. This one has the money clip on the back, but you can also do a cash strap, plus the accessories for the Ridge actually fits the Rossum. I'll link this wallet down below as well. You can't have a review of these two wallets without talking about their adjustability. They both come with screwdrivers that you can take out the screws on the front and the back to either replace elastic or replace the front pieces and just do the different kinds of customizations that you wanna do. I did think it was funny that my screwdriver that came with my Ridge wallet does unscrew the Ridge and the Aviator. This happens to fit both. So that's pretty interesting. I will say if you are gonna take these apart, make sure you pay attention to what you're doing because I know at least in the Aviator on the inside, there are some pins that can pop out. If you didn't see where they came from, it's hard to put them back. Now I did take them apart in the previous review videos that I did on them, so I can link those at the end. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire comparison review of these two wallets. But you know what? Not that long ago, I actually compared seven different minimalist wallets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here. And I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.